Hey Frugivore, welcome back to Frugivore Diet Channel. So today's video is on Unnatural Vegan. It is responding to a snippet of one of her videos where she was reacting to one of my videos. And I always love it when you send me snippets that have been like just recorded on your phone so I don't have to actually go over there and, you know, watch a video, click on the video and try and find this section where she's, you know, said something that I have to respond to. You know, and like in the last video, I explained why I'm not inspired at all to click on her videos when she is so deceptive. You know, she's misrepresenting me. She's lying, slandering. So why would I want to watch her videos, right? So I talk about that. Go and check out the video if you haven't yet. So we're going to talk about her book, Science of Raw, and her still selling it in 2019 on her website, Fit on Raw. Not so much on Amazon. We're going to talk about that as well, but specifically on Fit on Raw, because I actually bought this book in 2019. I'm going to get into it more in the video, but yeah, I bought this book in 2019. I highly recommend that you try and get hold of it if you can. It might be a little bit harder now that um, Swayze's taken down her sales page, but yeah, so there's a lot more to talk about on that. We're going to get straight into it. If you want to see more of these videos, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you don't, <laughs> do, just do something if you want to see more of them. All right, let's get into it. Okay, Frugivore, here we are back on Unnatural Vegan's YouTube channel. And we are back here because one of you actually sent me a snippet from this video where she reacts to me bringing up the point that she's still, she was still selling her Science of Raw Food book in 2019. So years and years after her, you know, claiming that the diet is dangerous and saying no one should do it and this and that, you know, going on and on about how it's just terrible. But then she's still selling it in 2019, like four or five years or something after saying this all this time that she's been, you know, saying it's terrible and saying my advice is terrible. All right. So let's get into it. Let's start here. Actually selling this book, even though she debunked the book, she was selling this only the end of last year or the year before, I believe. But she, but she like, see, she looked at the camera then and she said, no, I wasn't. Debunked it like a month later. She took it off the market, yes. then she debunked it. We're going to talk more about okay. that. Okay. And there uh, she is again confirming that no, that's not true. I don't know where she's getting that from. I have not sold that book. I have not made a dime off of that book in literally years. Okay. This is a Did big you problem. catch that? Did you catch that? I have not sold that book. I have not made a dime off of that book in literally years. I have not sold that book. I have not made a dime off that book in literally years. See her correct herself. Look up to the right. Uh, I have not made a dime. So she's claiming she hasn't sold the book. So let's listen more. I find that a little bit interesting. Let's just leave it at that. The Amazon. And I remember learning about this actually from another raw foodist back when I went to Woodstock Fruit Festival during this, this video with uh, Tim Van Orden. Her book was some, something like there? Super Healthy Children or some, something like that. So it was raw food for children, anti-vax, all that, all that sort of shit. But she was talking about how frustrating it had been for her because on Amazon, somebody had I guess somehow acquired a bunch of her books and then started selling them on Amazon. And she contacted Amazon was like, hey, that I'm they're not me. Like I wrote that book that someone else selling them and everyone thinks that they're the money is going to be. It's not this is another seller. And Amazon was basically like, yeah, okay, well, there's nothing we can do about it, not our problem. And she was just really upset. And obviously I don't agree with the book, but still that's that's shitty. So I don't know if that's how she got this book. There's someone who just has some copies and they're selling them on Amazon. Mm -hmm. But no, I have not made a dime off of this book in literally years. I did my best to remove it. Again, it's Amazon. You can't there's only so much you can do to like remove stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I have not had it listed and uh, making money for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Okay. You heard what she said. I have not had it listed and making money for a number of years. Let's go to her listing. <laughs> this is Swayze's listing. Okay. And she can try and claim that like, this is not hers. You know, this is like um, somebody else uploaded it, but you can see clearly that this is actually her listing. There might be other ones. Sure. There might be later ones where people have uploaded them. You know, they've bought the book obviously and uploaded some, but you can see this is clearly her listing. Publisher, create space independent publishing platform, February 8, 2013, when she wrote the book. I have not had it listed and uh, making money for a number of years. I did my best to remove it. So you can see the obvious problem here is that why did she not disclose the fact in that video response to me that she still had the listing on Amazon? Sure, she can come back and say, oh, but I didn't make any money off it. But she had the opportunity to tell us that she does actually have a listing on Amazon still, but she didn't. She chose not to, to hide that fact. It's got 35 ratings. It's the most of any of the books on Amazon that are available under that listing. Um, and, the, and you go down here as well. 
here is her her buddy, Frederick Patnode, and he wrote this review back in 2013. Do you think he's going to write it on somebody else's uh, page who has just taken her books and uploaded them and profiting? Uh, of course not. So, and she even says here, when did she change this? So I'm not sure, right? I no longer eat nor recommend a low-fat raw vegan diet, which is why I no longer sell this book. You can see what I currently eat it as a vegan at my channel, A Natural Vegan. So she said she doesn't list. She hasn't listed. She doesn't list the book. She could have deleted this listing. She could have deleted this listing, but she has not. Let's go back and actually go to an email that she wrote. Just I thought was kind of you know, relevant to add it into this video. Um, Swayze actually wrote to me in 2013. So you see here, this is when, hang up. So you see here, she still has her book listed. Okay. February 8, February 8, notice down there, published February 8, 2013. And this was actually um, February 16, 2013. So very soon after it was put on Amazon, Swayze messaged me. Okay, Saturday, February 16, 2013 from Swayze Foster. My name is Swayze Foster from FitOnRaw.com. I, want, I just wanted to know if you'd like to promote my upcoming book, The Science of Eating Raw, How to Lose Weight, Increase Your Energy, Prevent Disease, and Meet All Your Nutritional Needs on a Raw Food Diet. My main reason for writing this book was to create a raw food resource that's actually based on science, since so many are not. With references to verify my claims, there's over 350 scientific references in the book. It's all about eating a low-fat, high fruit, raw food diet. And I believe you will agree with 99% of my claims in the book. The only thing I think you'll disagree with are my comments on calories. And that is possible, albeit quite difficult for most people to take in too many calories from fruit. The launch date is Monday, February 25th, and there'll be a 70% commission for all the packages, which will be on sale until Monday, March 11th. You can sign up for my affiliate program here. Please let me know if you're interested and I'll email you a copy of the book in PDF EPUB, Moby. I can also send you a physical copy. So she had a physical copy that by this point, yes. Thank you so much for your time and for spreading the low fat, high fruit message. She's thanking me back then. Okay. And I still believe in this message. She doesn't, but that doesn't mean that you know, back then she wasn't on board with it and that, you know, I'm suddenly wrong with what I'm promoting and I'm a terrible person, which she's trying to make out now, right? So I wrote back, hey, you know, the next day, hey, thanks Swayze for the offer. The difference in our cal uh, calorie recommendation unfortunately plays a huge part of my decision and whether folks succeed on the lifestyle or not, it's crucial. They never restrict their calories, so I won't be able to promote it. I wish you all the best with it though. So that's what I wrote back. So, and, and that's what I believe. And that's what happened with her. You know, she didn't eat enough. So I just wanted to show you that and show you that she was actually, you know, a approaching me to promote her book back in the day. And she was thanking me for spreading the message. And just because she changed, she changed what she's doing doesn't mean her book becomes invalid. And what we do, what we believe in as a community here with uh, low fat raw vegan, high carb raw vegan, however you like to call it, frugivore diet, that doesn't make it invalid just because she changes and, you know, drops her standards. So anyway, let's move on, shall we? So if you want to do a raw food diet and do it properly, then there's three books in particular that I recommend. Okay. I recommend Swayze's book. Yes, I do. I don't recommend her under eating vo advice. If there's any advice that's like restrict your fruit intake, then obviously I don't recommend that. You know, you should never restrict your sweet fruit intake. That's ridiculous. So Science of Raw though is good for the science behind eating raw. So I definitely recommend you check that out. The 801010 book by Doug Graham, fantastic book. And um, of course, my baby, go for it yourself. This is where the frugivore diet is basically outlined. I recommend this book and this is an Amazon book. It's not available yet, but it will be soon, but you can get the ebook instantly today. The download link is in the description below. Do raw the right way and you can do it long-term for life or at least raw till four. Check it out. So before I purchased her book on Amazon, I went to her Fit on Raw website. You know, I remembered this Fit on Raw website that she had. So I went there first and it says it's down. Okay, it's down. I'm like, hmm, I wonder how long that's been down for. So I went to the Wayback Machine <laughs> to show to show me how long it's been down for. And I'm like, what? July 24th, 2019? I would love to see her proof. Where where is this proof? This this can't be right. I'm like, this can't be right. She has been debunking raw food. She's been saying like this lifestyle is dangerous for years, like four or five years. And this is literally 
July 2019. That's not very long ago. She's still sell- she was still selling the book in 2019, approximately five years, <laughs> five years after her debunking it. I'm like shocked here, right? Or at least four years and not, not one book, not just her science, but other books as well. And I'm thinking, well, she probably, because she put in so much time into this book, which is a great book. You should try and get it if you can. Um, she probably, she wanted to get more money on it, right? She wanted to get her time back in, in money. And, um, this is why it, that's what it feels like to me. Okay. And basically by this point, the sales probably, uh, dried up. So she's like, okay, it's time to debunk this. It's time to actually take it down and debunk it because I'm not getting any more sales on it. I'm not bringing the money in. So I may as well just take it down and yeah, denounce, denounce the lifestyle in a video. And that's what she did only, okay, August 10th, the 24th. So what is that? 17 days later, like approximately two weeks later, she makes this video. I wrote a book and it's the worst thing I've ever done. So she feels so strongly about this being the worst thing she's ever done. But hang on, two weeks earlier, she was selling it on her website. She was selling many books on her website. This does not feel good. Does, what does this look like to you? What excuses can she, sh- she, she come up with this time? You know she's going to have something, but you have to recognize the manipulation and the lies here. She's, you know, calling out other people here, Raw Alignment and Rovana are still profiting off of garbage content. And she said that many times so that uh, raw food is garbage content. You know, raw food, people who promote the raw food lifestyle, our books and everything like it, it's garbage. Don't listen to these people. You know, it's dangerous. And she's literally making a video calling them out. Well, at the very same time, this woman has her own book up there being sold and no one noticed. People did not notice except those who are purchasing the book, right? Oh, I just find this like completely so dishonest and deceptive, dishonorable. People just believe her because she's a good talker and a, she's a good manipulator. And it's important to point out here that website domains need to be renewed over the years. So she must have renewed it rather than actually taking it down earlier when she was like denouncing the lifestyle over and over saying it was dangerous. And where is the disclaimer? Why isn't there a big banner up saying, I no longer sell this book. This is a dangerous lifestyle. Don't buy this book. Basically, there isn't anything like that. It's just like a sales page. You can see the listing is still up. She could delete that. You can see that she she debunked her video, her book two weeks later. Isn't this completely unethical, immoral? I just find this like, how can she talk her way out of this two weeks later? How convenient. Wow. So yeah, she wants you to believe her now. But then she says she's basically lying with the book that she wrote. The whole book is basically a lie. You know, like that's, that's what she wants you to believe. She wants you to think that she's just, um, just young and kind of stupid or something. But you can see when you read the book, it's very intelligent. It is great. It is an awesome, well-researched, referenced book. So you can see that she's being very, very dodgy here. Um, selling her book in 2019 July and then two weeks later taking it down taking the site down if you go there now that's what you get if you went there two weeks earlier that's what you got you got this so you've got a listing up here as well here she is calling out others profiting off garbage content even though she says this is the worst thing this book is the worst thing I've ever done I've ever written but she still was making money off it She's still taking money off something that she thought was dangerous. And I don't think I need to explain why that is bad anymore. All right. So that is my video today. Go and get the book. (laughs) Get the science of eating raw. It's a great book. Um, It's from, you know, not going to be available from Swayze anymore because obviously, you know, I called her out on it. So she's basically, she'll probably try and delete this. Oh, she's made some changes. You know, when did she write this? I'm no longer vegan. I recommend this. You know, I don't know. I don't know. And you know, it's her listing because her buddy is there and because of the, um, the publishing date, but yeah, try and get the book. It's a great book. Um, 
And just because she changes her ways and lowers her standards does not make the book invalid or the science invalid or us invalid with this fruit-based community. All right. Don't forget to go fruit yourself. Swayze, you too, please. Don't forget to go fruit yourself. And I will see you soon. 